I'm just getting ready to go somewhere. So I thought I would do my makeup with you guys right now. I don't usually do my makeup with you all because y'all don't really be liking the makeup. Like that's really why I don't be doing it. But Sephora sale is coming up. It is going to start on November 1st through the 11th, I believe. I'll put the actual dates up here on the screen. But I thought I would do my makeup here with you guys with a face full of Sephora favorites that I would 100% recommend you buy. So all of these products you can get. Let me, I'm just making sure. Oh, I need to go get another blush. This is for like a, just like, I'm, I'm just gonna call it a regular glam. Let me just take, oh, take off my pimple patch because when I tell you there was something a brewing on my face this morning. I woke up, I said, what did I do to you with some lip oil? I always do this before I start my makeup. This is the Clarins lip oil. You can buy other lip oils or whatever. This one is $30. Um, it's cheaper than Dior one. And honestly, I feel like it's a little bit better because it's not as thick. Um, you can wear this by itself, like for your finished look if you want. I like to wear it as a moisturizing something to like moisturize my lips while I'm getting like doing the rest of my face so that by the time my um lip combo is ready it'll be done i don't think they have this exact shade at sephora like now that i'm looking but they do um i don't know what shade this is this was like a exclusive like summer color but all the other ones i've tried they're literally the same they all work great starting off with primer this is the prada refine primer i did not think like this was gonna be that much of a game-changing product for me as it is when I know I need my makeup to last, um, like I said, I'm going somewhere and I'm not even going anywhere for a long time. Just going somewhere for a little bit. Um, I just put on this primer on my T-zone. Um, I personally don't need primer all over my face. I just put it on my T-zone and I am going to like put it over that blemish a little bit. I just find like if I do have a blemish, I like to always make sure there's a barrier between my skin and whatever makeup I'm about to put on. So this primer is really good though if you have like an oily T-zone. Like it just kind of like, you see how I like smooth everything out? It's not a grippy primer or anything, but it is going to make everything um, just lay very nicely and if you keep hearing it's because i literally look let me show you this is my everyday makeup little kit that sits on top of like my vanity that like holds like all the makeup that i use like on an everyday basis so like i really only had to go get like two extra products to put in here but this is all makeup that i use on a regular basis anyways so just fyi this isn't just stuff i'm pulling out the air this is products like if I didn't already have these in my collection, I would definitely buy them during the Sephora sale. So this is the Hourglass Skin Tint. I use shade 16 and I don't use a lot of it. I'm not a big foundation girl, um, but I do like a little bit of something to like even out my skin tone. And I love this product because it's very, I thought I was using like a blush brush on my face very lightweight it's very skin like like when they say skin tint they really mean it like if you see how that just blended in and like with that primer on it just like just looks so good it looks like your skin but better it doesn't look very makeupy if you will if you're a person that doesn't like to wear like a heavy cakey face um, cause don't get me wrong. Some of the cakey girls, like they make up be looking beat looks so good. Um, but I just don't, I can't deal with the feeling of that on my skin. I like this and it just like evens out your skin tone. And if you're like, girl, she's moving kind of fast. It's cause I am, I have somewhere to be. I'm so, I actually just had to text them and tell them I'm going to be a little bit late. Um, okay. So starting with concealer now, this is the boring cake list concealer by benefit. I actually just tried this product. Um, they sent it to me in PR. Actually, I will say. 90% of this makeup was sent to me in PR. Um, but I just have to say, y'all, this concealer, I don't know why more people don't talk about it. I was pleasantly surprised when I started using this concealer. And I just started using this, like, maybe 
a few weeks ago like they just literally sent it to me like this fall it is such a nice like concealer and cakeless is right like it's not cakey but it does give you the coverage that you want so i'm gonna let her chill there for a second now we're gonna move on to our brows it's more benefit products benefit literally sent me over like a big box of products this is their precisely my brow pencil and before i got these i had always heard like benefit products were super good um specifically like the brow products but i had never tried any on my own to like say yay or nay this brow pencil is one of my favorites reason being is because it is skinny it's a small pencil but it also doesn't take you forever to fill your brows that's one of my biggest issues with like a lot of like the really small tiny brow pencils like they mimic hair yes like they they look so good and like precise but it takes you so long to fill your brows and then some of them are like super hard to where it's like um doesn't have a lot of color payoff like you have to press down really hard and it just does the job so effortlessly and easily i really really enjoy it i've seen the benefit brow light now i'm not about to let them do my brows not saying i've heard bad things about it i don't let anybody touch my eyebrows <laughs> but they do have brow services too um like at their standalone locations i've seen before and i think also like at their like if you go to like the counters like inside of the department stores like if they have a benefit counter um i think they do them there too i could be wrong that's the first brow product i'm going to use i'll use my second one later this brush in case anyone is wondering is from um it's from minted which is not sold at sephora but i don't think this brush is available anymore to be honest with you guys um i just saw recently like i was a little concerned about the minted brand for a second but I just saw recently, I think it was either on their Instagram. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was on their Instagram. They were talking about like wear back. So I was like, oh, okay. The brand took a little break, a little hiatus. I don't know, maybe they're reformulating. I thought the Minted brand got bought by someone, but I could be wrong. But they were like on hiatus for a minute, like to the point where I thought that they weren't coming back. Like I thought they were going kaput. So we have the Say um, Do Bronze. Um, I'm trying to make sure that it's all products that like, I'm actually like, no, I legit would suggest this to you. Um, and I use it frequently. So I'm just doing some dots around my forehead and a little bit on my nose too. I'm not so much into like contouring my nose anymore as I am just like, I want a little bit of color on my nose. So have that. I think this brush is at Sephora as well. This is, um, no, it says it brushes for Ulta. Sorry. But try some of the Sephora collection brushes if you're looking to build up your brush collection. It is a very, very good selection that they have there. Um, and I feel like they are very good um, quality. Like I have a few of them and they have never like broken prematurely or like i feel like oh it doesn't last as long like i feel like they last a good amount of time and they like work really well they blend out really well so i would definitely try some of those kind of make sure you turn to the side when you blend in that forehead girl because sometimes you think you look right and then you turn to the side you see yourself in a picture and you're like oh my god <laughs> it's happened to me plenty of times i'm going in with uh no i'm not going in with that just yet this cream blush from bobby brown it is their pot rouge uh look at her like she definitely gets used i don't know if you can see like all the dirtiness around her um she definitely gets used this is just like a pretty like deep shade because some of us don't like like a bright cheek which perfectly fair and then some of us do like a bright cheek but there is always a time that calls for like a deeper hue like maybe you just want like a deep plum or something like that like you don't want like a bright bright pink this is very nice but you can also use it on your lips too so it's like for your cheeks and for your lips as well which honestly i feel like you can do that with any blush but i just feel like it's very nice i like this color i love the formula of it very nice 
Now moving on to our second concealer. This is from NARS. You've probably heard everybody and their mama talk about this concealer. It is the, um, I don't know what it's called, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm using the shade Caramel. So I use the darker shade from Benefit just to kind of like, yeah, kind of like even everything out, get the dark circles out the way, whatever. And then this shade is used to highlight. So I just put a little bit here. If I wanted a shade that was closer to my skin tone from NARS, I would get the shade Amandi. If um, if you're my skin tone and you're like, I want one that's like exactly my skin tone, I would go for that. So I have that on. And this is, like I said, it's just for brightening. So that's why I just put it on my forehead, a little bit right here on my nose, um, under my eyes and my chin. And you want this to like dry down a little bit so that um, the pigment really stays in place and it doesn't spread too much. I find that that's like the best for me. So I just have this little fan that I use. So, but this is a Sephora 57 Pro Conceal brush. And this is the one that I use to blend out like my highlighting concealer. It's just a, it's a dual fiber brush, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure my days of watching YouTube back when I was younger. <laughs> y'all remember back in the day when like youtube was like literally like you're coming here for makeup artistry i feel like you still get that but i feel like it's more popular now and prevalent now to do like vlogs and stuff where like back then like if you want to be like a popular youtube girl you number one worked at mac and you were doing makeup artistry you were wearing ruby woo um teddy all of those things on your lips um you were using the mac paint pots and you knew every last number of the MAC brushes. You knew whether they were dual fiber, were they synthetic, all of that stuff. <laughs> I don't, I kind of remember some of it, but I don't remember a lot of it. I'm supposed to be at this place at four. It's 3.35. I know I'm not getting there by 4 o'clock. We're moving. We're shaking. Now for um, setting powder. Always Laura Mercier. And this is their Translucent Loose Setting Powder Tone Up in the shade Rose. So it's a pink setting powder. Um, I really like a pink setting powder for my brown girls. Don't be afraid of it. But even if you're like, mm, that's not me. I think any of the shades of the Laura Mercier setting powder are good um the only one that i do not use and i don't particularly care for on me is the dark one because i feel like it makes my under eyes look super duper dark um i know the shade is called dark but it's supposed to be like similar to like my skin tone and it doesn't look similar to my skin tone it looks like a little bit darker and it just makes my skin tone or like my under eye area look very dark and I don't like that. So that's the only reason, the only one that I don't use. If you're like fair skinned, I would say you could probably use that dark one low key a little bit like a, a bronzer or something. Yeah. This is my favorite one right now. And my second favorite is the, um, the honey one which is like more of a yellow tone um now we're moving on to powder bronzer so i usually do like cream bronzer cream blush and then powder bronzer powder blush just helps it last a little bit longer especially if you're going somewhere but also i like to like kind of mix and make my own concoctions of like blush and stuff like that so that's why i like to layer those two um and then for bronzer like i use a powder one on top after I've done my setting powder and everything, because sometimes your setting powder can like wash you out, make you a little ashy. So this just like kind of like blends everything back together. So this is from Benefit. This is their Hula Toasted Bronzer. I really like this one. Um, this is my first time trying it, like when they sent it to me and I really enjoy it to be honest with you. So using that, I'm just gonna put some on my nose. Like I said, I just, I've gotten out of using bronzer and like contour on my nose to like slim down my nose and I more so like it to like make it look more sun-kissed if you will I really like that look now for blush it's from NARS I just this is my first NARS blush actually 
um i never had an orgasm shade i didn't really see the hype about it like i went in store swatched it like it just didn't do much for me personally but this shade is a new shade from them that they just released earlier this year i believe it's called dominant pink yes but when you put it on it just like it's the perfect brown girl pink like it's gonna give you that pigment but it's not crazy to the point where you're like this is too much for me or also like this is ashy it's neither of those like for me personally i love it and i put a little bit on my nose too blushes done these are the giorgio armani beauty um eye tints love these are they pricey yes but i feel like if you're a person that doesn't wear eyeshadow but you're like i want a little something these are probably the only eyeshadows you need like i have three of these and i could do any eye look that i wanted not like bright colors obviously but like i could do any eye look i wanted with just the three that i have so this one the one that i use the most is in the shade wood okay and i just put this like on the outer corner of my eye take a brush literally any brush come on and i just blend that in they are so blendable and easy to use you can get a color that is like super close to your skin tone um they have like lighter shades if you're more fair skin i feel like whenever i wear this someone is always like oh your eyes look so good like what did you literally just this okay so this is the brown one in the shade wood and then i have the other one in the shade ebony this is the black shade i have a shimmery one i can't remember the name of that one um but i don't really use that one that often i use these two the most now for this ebony dark one i'm gonna use this as my eyeliner and i like to smudge it out so nice so i just and you would think you wouldn't be able to do this with these because it's like a felt tip like brush type of applicator but i can get in here really close to my lash line without having to um without it being like too messy basically i did a little bit too much on that eye but that's fine um, so I just put a little bit on and I like to let it dry down a little bit. My first instinct when I got those is that they were going to dry down too quickly and like wasn't going to be like easy to blend. It's literally the opposite. They blend in so nicely. So nice. Look at that. It's just kind of like smoked out lash line, but like it's not too much. Now this one I went a little bit too far out so I'm so hungry I don't know if the mic is picking up the way my stomach is growling right now most of my eyes now I'm gonna use another eyeliner I usually don't use so many but I just want to show you guys like all the products I really really like this is the lawless easy eyes ultra precise liquid liner let me tell you I graduated high school in 2010 so I was around for the liquid eyeliner boom when everybody had to have a cat eye with the liquid liner okay i've used the best and the worst of them this is the best one i've ever used and i'm just gonna get in here really close to my lash line define it if you want to do a cat eye you certainly can i'm not going to okay we already had a little mess up over here we don't need to be at no more And you can do the thickest line that you want to you can do the thinnest line that you want to i've definitely used liners where i felt like it was too thick of a like little applicator so i couldn't really make it thin how i wanted like i can get into the very very inner corner crevice like just with a light touch i really really like that so those are like three of my favorite like eye products but then i'm also using this mascara from lancome it's their hypnos drama um mascara and i really like this one honestly i'm not really loyal to one specific 
mascara but i have been reaching for this one a lot and it stayed in my little thing a lot here recently um i feel like it just does the job really well This is the Say Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Tease. It's a, a dark brown. Love this. When I saw that Say was coming out with lip liners, like we know them for like their pretty blushes. Um, they have like really good skin like products. So I was not expecting them to be dropping a lip liner. It's not too red either because some brown lip liners pull really, really red or like orangey and I don't like that. And also with that clearance underneath, it just makes everything go on so smoothly. And then for lip color, I've actually been using this tint from Benetint or Benefit. It's called their Benetint. And I think this is the original one. I didn't know they had it in other shades, but they do. And I just put that on right on top of the clearance. Um, Because you remember I put that lip oil on before? And it just gives you like... The most perfect like hint of color on your lips it does last a good amount of time and it's not super drying like once you have like that that lip color or that lip balm on underneath it but you still get that tint of color and then i'm actually using this mini um lip gloss from lawless it's from their new like holiday set this shade is called bitten i don't know if this is like a shade that they have in their regular lineup but it's one in one of their like holiday gift sets so i would definitely try it out if you're looking to try some because they have like a clear one they have a shimmery one and then it's this one in the gift set it's really nice i love this color like this pinky color like it's getting like close to holiday time so it's a little bit more festive and this is so easy for me to take with me too i'm going to tell you i'm about to go somewhere so it's like if you're carrying a small bag it's going to fit in that little bag so easily and then our last step, um, I told you guys we're using one pro bow product and we need to come back and do another one. So after I've done all my powders and everything to my face, I come back with my brow gel because I don't want like the powders to be sticking to the brow gel. That's happened to me a few times before. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Wax. I love how small the spoolie is. It's not like crazy big. It also doesn't disperse a ton of product out. Um, because I've messed up my brows a few times where like the brow gel has so much product on the spoolie and you don't realize it until you take it to your brows and now you're sitting here trying to figure out how to fix it without messing up the rest of your makeup. Last finishing touches just taking a little tiniest bit of powder around the areas where I know I get oily. I know I just said like no more powder but like I'm not like applying like a ton of powder still to my face and then the brush that I was using for my powder bronzer I'm just gonna use this around my face just to make sure everything's blended because we did that blush um, we did powder my forehead is like where I'd be like most concerned and I feel like sometimes I'll see it back in like video or like pictures or something if I turn to the side or like you see like a certain angle you might be like oh I could have blended a little bit better take down my hair I just washed my hair earlier today and I didn't like how it looked especially so I like did my flat pin curls to kind of like loosen it up a little bit I felt like it was looking too like church curly if you if you ever had a church curl you know what a church curl is <laughs> so I felt like it was looking a little too much like that so instead of like wrapping my hair i'll just do like flat pin curls and i feel like that always helps to kind of like loosen the hair up a bit no i don't know if it worked this time we'll see i have an epiphany y'all that i am just not the big earring girl like, you know how everybody's wearing, like, and don't get me wrong, they're so cute. But I just feel like sometimes it looks really forced and awkward on me. Like, I'm trying too hard to be, like, trendy or, like, fashionable or whatever. And I feel like simple earrings, smaller earrings, 
just suit me best personally. So this is how our makeup turned out. I think it looks very good, face full of items from Sephora. If I did not already own these products from Sephora, I would buy them during the sale. They are so good. Um, I feel like my makeup always looks so nice when I use them and there are certain ones that I'm just like, I could not ever live without you. Start adding the things to your cart that you know you want and then you know, just go back and edit later. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.